one and this has been requested a couple of times um birds lying high you know how i feel oh i got some blue notes in there you know how i feel they are blue notes if you've not come across them before notes that don't really belong to the scale but kind of intentionally stick out and they sound a bit mm, like a bit dirty um, <laughs> If you don't already know it, why not? I like the Frank Sinatra version best. What a crooner. Love him. Mickey Blue Eyes. I know he was a total rogue, but I think if I was born in that era, I probably would have gone there. If I'd had the opportunity. Anyway, we digress. Twiddle wasn't even just a twiddle. I had some kind of, I had some throat bend in there as well. If you haven't watched my video on throat bending, that's a good one to check out. Uh, it's a really good trick. Um, and it just changes it from being... Two. Can you hear that? It gives it a little bit more edge. Oh, I love that song. That's one of those ones that, like, it doesn't matter how many times you play it, it's still really enjoyable. Um, this one is a bit of a sneaky video. I'm gonna incorporate beginners and advanced all in one, all in one little, little package. And I so chat on Twitter quite a lot as well if you're interested in what I'm doing in the UK, London, abroad, overseas, on the moon, playing the saxophone, in a spaceship, and all of those kind of things. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Next on the list, it don't mean a thing. <laughs> that was like a split personality moment. I suddenly went all chipper. <laughs> Do up, do up, lots of F's, lots of F's, lots of F's. Woo! Done. Two. Hi. Hi there. Hello. Uh, you may remember me from such other cheesy saxophone favourites as Careless Whisper. And what else have I done that's horrendously cheesy? Baker Street. God bless the 80s, eh? Okay, so I'm the soprano, so I'm doing it on the soprano. Despite uh, my preference, I'm not a soprano player, really. This poor thing is covered in dust. Um, but we'll give it a go, eh? Throw jet, and don't you come back. This one's such a hit. We do this at weddings quite a lot, which I would imagine is not the greatest song to do at a wedding because it's telling a guy to out of there, isn't it, really? I feel like he's been a, a naughty boy and she's telling him what for. If you've not seen the film Ray uh, with uh, Jamie Foxx, oh, it's awesome, you should check it out. Um, and that's a big feature of that song, in it? And it's when she's, he's, he's been sleeping with um, all the backing singers and they're telling him to fuck off. Uh, anyway. <laughs> You get the idea. No, I do know the jazz tunes. The second phrase sounds very similar to the first. Ah oh, yes, it is exactly the same, and that's music for you. We love repetition in music. We love repetition in music. We love you, we love you, we love you, we love you. Next bit. We're going to do a jazz number. We're doing Glenn Miller in the mood. Do -do 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 do Let's get that first bit down. <laughs> I got a bit carried away there. Shall I teach you some of that? Um, so you go down one and then work your chromatic up until you make the B flat, which is your tonic. Tonic. Oh, I could do with a gin and tonic right now. It's really sunny here in London at the moment and it just makes me 
feel like I need gin all the time or Pims or Prosecco. Do you think I have a problem? <laughs> Do it. Do it or I'll drop some tax. I will. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll <gasps>